When you hear the words Museum of Natural History, you naturally think of Washington, D.C. or New York or even London. But what about Murfreesboro? That's right. Middle Tennessee's had its own Museum of Natural History since 2014. Right now, Cindy Carter is going to uncover this hidden gem. If it's true we are known by the company we keep, mastodons and mammoths which were running around in Tennessee, then Alan Brown is one ferocious and fascinating guy. So this is a Edmontosaurus femur that I dug up. Alan spends his days hanging out with his prehistoric pals like T-Rex, Velociraptor, and lots of others who are harder to pronounce. So this slightly reddish colored dinosaur is called a Struthiomimus, possibly one of the fastest dinosaurs. If you look, he's got really long legs. He's really lightly built. This savvy science guy, passionate paleontologist, is also the executive director of Earth Experience. I have always been absolutely in love with natural history museums. And it was a natural history museum that got me interested in science in the first place. And in 2014, that love affair led Alan to open this natural history museum in Murfreesboro, Middle Tennessee's very first. Tennessee has a huge natural history component to it. We have lots of minerals, especially from Tennessee. There's giant uh, calcite crystals and purple fluorite crystals. Mineral collectors just love it. Wow. We have things from the Ice Age, saber-toothed cats, like the one that was found in Nashville that the Predators hockey team is based off of. You can add red pandas, mosasaurs, and giant sea turtles to that Tennessee list. But this experience also includes gemstones and fossils from all over. Inside the museum's paleo lab, patrons can watch Alan carefully chip debris away from one of the numerous bones he's dug up over the years in places like Montana. Picking and brushing away small bits at a time. It's a very slow process. It can take years of work to clean an individual bone. Thanks to Allen's annual summer dinosaur digs, much of what you see on display is the real deal. But the museum also molds and casts replicas, really good ones, right down to the smallest details. This has been a passion of mine my whole life. Volunteer Jim Kelsey shows us how he recreates a velociraptor skull from a mold of an original fossil. Every detail of the original will be formed when we put the cast in. The presto changeo moment only takes a few minutes. And once it happens, the piece can either be sold to patrons wanting to take some of this experience home or become part of the museum's impressive dino display. This is the only copy of these dinosaur tracks in existence anywhere in the world. Not for nothing, it is called Earth Experience. It just doesn't feel like a museum, in large part because of displays like this one, where people can dig in and learn about topography and landscapes and watersheds. They can literally get in there and have a hands-on experience. Like a drum. As impressive as this collection is, Alan says he has four times this in storage, the small museum displays only what it currently has space for. We heat it up and we gotta get it all hot enough to where instead of melting the silver, it just melts the salt. From gemstone jewelry making to guided tours. Igneous rocks are rocks from a volcano. They look like crystals. Mm -hmm. Dedicated volunteers and donations keep this experience alive. No outside funding, no corporate sponsors just unbridled enthusiasm for science. The world needs more scientists. Uh, there's always a shortage of scientists, especially some of the sciences like geology, where there are more jobs than there are geologists to fill them. And so natural history museums, more than anything else, get people interested in science. Alan well understands what gets people excited. Science. Books and movies help stimulate a curiosity for specific creatures like pterodactyls, woolly mammoths, and yes, Game of Thrones fans, direwolves. 
dire wolves were running around with all of the other things that have been found in Tennessee, there's a pretty good chance dire wolves were in Tennessee. But once inside this museum, Alan Brown and his merry band of volunteers hope people discover so much more than they ever expected. A new experience from this Earth experience.